Welcome to 21st Sports Recap and Reaction for Game 3 of the ALDS between the Kansas City Royals at the Houston Astros. The series was tied up 1-1 heading into this game. We're going to go over every at-bat and the stats and give our breakdown and analysis. So on the mound for the Houston Astros, starting off Dallas Keuchel, and on the mound for the Royals, Edison Volquez. So Keuchel started off the game and he ended up letting up a single, an infield single, to Escobar. But then he struck out Zobrist and got Kane to ground out. Escobar got to second on that grounder. And so Hosmer came up two on with a man on second in scoring position. And Hosmer grounds out. And so the top of the first would come to a close with a runner stranded 120 feet away. So now on the bottom of the first... Volquez would set down the side in order as he got Altuve to ground out. He struck out Springer, and he ended up getting Correa to line out. So that would do it for the first. Now on to the top of the second. Keiko would let up a leadoff single to Morales. Mastakis then hit into a fielder's choice. Morales out at second. Then Perez and Gordon struck out. So on to the bottom of the second. Volquez walked Rasmus, and then Gaddis hit into a fielder's choice. Rasmus out at second. Gomez would end up reaching on an indifference by the catcher, and then Valbueno struck out. So that would do it for the second inning. Now on to the top of the third. Keiko would set down the side in order. He's got Rios to ground out, Escobar lined out, and Zobris grounded out. So now on to the bottom of the third, and Carter let off with a single, but he tried to stretch it to two when he was out at second. So then Castro struck out and Altuve struck out. And so that would do it for the Astros in the bottom of the third. So now on to the top of the fourth. Lorenzo Kane at bat, and he hits a leadoff home run in the top of the fourth, sending it over the left field wall, 419 feet to put the first run on the scoreboard with the score Kansas City 1, Houston nothing. Hosmer then struck out. Morales then reached on an error by Valbuena, and then he ended up taking second on a wild pitch by Keuchel. Mastak is then grounded out, moving Morales over to third. Perez walks, and I had runners on the corners, two outs for Gordon, and Gordon flies out. So he left a runner stranded 90 feet away. That would come back to haunt them later on. And so, But not after they did get the one run in the top of the fourth. So now it's the bottom of the fourth. Springer grounds out. Correa strikes out. Rasmus walks, and Gaddis strikes out. And that would do it for the fourth inning. So now it's at the top of the fifth. Rios flew out. Escobar grounded out. Zobrist hit a double, and Kane was intentionally walked. Hosmer came to the plate with two men on. And, of course, the intentional walk was to make sure that there was a force out at every base except for home. But they got Hosmer to strike out, and so now we're on to the bottom of the fifth. So the bottom of the fifth, Gomez strikes out. Valbueno then walks. Carter then hits a double. So now you had runners in scoring position at second and third with Carter and Valbueno with one out for Castro and Castro hits a single up the middle and Valbueno and Carter both score as the Astros take the lead by one with the score Houston 2 Kansas City 1 Altuve then grounded into a double play and the fifth came to a close but not after the Houston Astros had scored two runs and taken the lead so now on the top of the six Keuchel still on the mound he's gets Morales to ground out. Mastakis then hit a double. Perez then flew out and Gordon struck out as they left Mastakis stranded on second. So now on to the bottom of the six. Springer let off with a double. Correa then grounded out and Rasmus was intentionally walked again to force a force out at every base except for home. Gaddis then struck out and then Gomez came to the plate. He hit a single. That brought Springer in and Rasmus went to second. And it was now 3-1 to one as the Astros extended their lead to two runs. Duffy then came in to relieve Volquez, who was done for the night. And now Gonzalez would pinch hit for Valbuena, and he popped out. So that would do it for the sixth inning, but not after the Astros had had one run to their score to make it 3-1. to one. So now on the top of the seventh, Gonzalez in at third. Rios would walk, and Escobar grounded out. Zopris then hit a sacrifice to move Rios to third. So a runner 90 feet away. And Lorenzo Kane at the plate. He'd hit a leadoff home run earlier in the game, but he strikes out here. And that would do it for the top of the seventh as we went on to the seventh inning stretch. 
as they left another runner stranded this one 90 feet away. So now on to the bottom of the seventh. Chris Carter was the leadoff man, and he takes Danny Duffy deep to left. 391 feet to make it a three-run lead for the Astros with the score 4-1, to one, Houston over Kansas City. Castro then flew out, and now Hochever would come in to relieve Duffy. Altuve then flew out, and Springer struck out, and that would do it for the seventh, but not after the Astros had added another run to their score to make it 4-1. to one. It's down the top of the eighth. Tony Sip in to relieve Keuchel, who was done after seven strong innings, allowing just the one run. And now Sip came in. He struck out the first batter he faced, Hosmer. He then walked Morales. Moustakis then struck out. As Sip now had two strikeouts in the inning. And then Gregerson came in to relieve Sip. And Gregerson now coming in would end up with the four out potential is uh, he coming in you know as the closer usually but here he comes in in the you know top of the eighth and he gets Perez to ground into a fielder's choice Morales out at second so now we'd go to the bottom of the eighth Hochever still on the mound for the Royals led up a leadoff single to Korea Rasmus then reached on an infield single so now he had two on no outs Gaddis then fouled out Gomez struck out and now Lowry would pinch it for Gonzalez, and he flew out. So after getting two runners on, the next three guys get out. And now we are on to the top of the ninth. Gregerson still on the mound as he had recorded the final out of the top of the eighth. And now look to record the final three outs to bring this game to a close and record the save. And Lowry was in on a defensive substitution at third after having pinch hit. And the first batter faced Alex Gordon takes some deep to left, 412 feet, and it's now a two-run game. So it's 4-2 to two, Kansas City with that leadoff home run by Gordon. Gregerson then calmed down and got Rios to line out, but then he let up a single to Escobar. So now he had one run scored in the inning, one out, one man on. Zobris at the plate. Zobris then hits into a fielder's choice. Escobar out at second is the lead runner. So now Zobris is on first. Two outs. Lorenzo Cain steps into the box, representing the tying run in this game, having already hit a home run in this game earlier on. And Gregerson comes through with the strikeout, coming up clutch after letting up that leadoff home run in the top of this inning. Strikes out Cain. And the Houston Astros win this game by two runs, 4-2. to two. They take the 2-1 to one lead in the series in Game 3, a huge victory for them in Minute Maid as they win this game. Keiko gets the win, seven innings pitched, one earned run off of just five hits. He had seven strikeouts and three walks. He did allow you know, the home run. That was the only run that he allowed. And, of course, that was the home run to Kane in the fourth inning. And then Sip coming in two-thirds of an inning pitched, two strikeouts. The two outs he recorded, he did have the one walk, no hits, no earned runs. And then Gregerson won in one-third innings as he recorded four outs. He did let up that home run to Gordon in the ninth, but he uh, that was the only run he allowed. Two hits, one strikeout, no walks as he picks up the save. And for the Royals, Volquez gets the loss, five and two-thirds, three earned runs, five hits, eight strikeouts, and four walks. Duffy pitched two-thirds of an inning, allowing one run off of one hit that solo shot that he led up to Chris Carter there in the seventh. Then Hochever one and two-thirds innings pitch, not allowing any runs, two hits, two strikeouts. So, uh, I'll tell you, Chris Carter had one heck of a game. He was three for three in this game. He had that home run, the one RBI. He scored two runs. He had that one, uh, you know, single he tried to stretch to two where he was out, but he really was getting the bat on the ball. And the Houston Astros, not a lot of hits, only eight hits, seven for the Royals, but they did it in a timely fashion as they were able to string things together in the fifth, sixth, and in the seventh, the home run by Carter. Of course, the only runs for Kansas City were the two solo shots, both leadoff solo shots. Kane, well, of course, obviously a leadoff home run is obviously a solo shot, but in the fourth and in the ninth, Kane and Gordon respectively is Kansas City relying on the long ball on this one not be able to really string together their hits and they left a lot of runners stranded as that was the thing I was kind of pointing out through the game is they had the opportunities but they were not able to capitalize whereas the Astros they did in the fifth and sixth you know with some small ball with the, getting those singles 
to bring in the three runs, you know, first uh, the two runs in the fifth, one run in the sixth, then the home run, a little insurance in the seventh. Of course, Gordon making it interesting with that home run in the ninth there. You know, uh, especially getting on Gregerson, but Gregerson calmed down. He found himself and he ended up picking up that save, even though he got shaken up a little bit by that home run. But the Astros take the lead in this series, and now they have a chance to close things out in Game 4. Is there one win away from going to the ALCS? But here in the ALDS, though, they are up 2-1. to one. They said Chris Carter with a big game, 3-for-3. Three three. Castro, 1-for-3. He had two RBIs off of that single. Get him up big, Castro, with that hit there with the two RBIs in the fifth. And Springer, 1-for-4. He scored a run. Correa, 1-for-4. Rasmus, 1-for-1. One one. He walked three times. So he's very disciplined at the plate as he's been on fire lately. And Gomez, one for four. Let's see, had that RBI in the sixth inning. And for the Royals, Escobar, two for five. Sobers, one for four. Kane had that home run. He was one for four, that one RBI. Gordon, of course, had the solo shot, one for four off that. You know, he had that one home run, which obviously the RBI in the run. Morales, one for three. Mustakis, one for four. Hosmer, 0 oh for four, striking out three times in this game. Gordon struck out twice. So did Kane. Interestingly enough, both guys with the solo shots both struck out twice in the game. And uh, for Houston, Gaddis, Gomez, and Springer each struck out twice in the game as well. But Carter, though, uh, he had a he had that double in the first inning. And Springer also with the double as well. So an exciting game. Just low scoring, really good pitching in this game on both sides. Keiko, another of Excellent effort on the mound in the postseason. Just one earned run in seven innings. And the two starters combined for 15 Ks, seven for Keiko, eight for Volquez. So this game, it had everything. It had a little small ball, had a couple of home runs. We saw some good pitching. It was an all-around good game. But let me know what you think in the comments section below. Definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions. Thank you very much for listening. It is greatly appreciated. I hope you had a good day and had a great weekend and enjoyed all the sports.